Welcome back everyone. We're going to be talking about another camera comparison today and this time between the iPhone SE 2 and the iPhone 10. So I promised you guys I was going to drop this comparison and I finally did so hopefully I can drop a speed test at some point and basically a little bit of background. First of all the camera setups on both of these. The iPhone SE 2020 has a single 12 megapixel camera lens where the iPhone 10 has a dual camera setup two 12 megapixel sensors, a wide angle lens, and a telephoto lens. And then up top, they have a seven megapixel sensors on both of them. And both can shoot 1080p on the front cameras, and then actually 4K at 60 on those back cameras. So pretty much the same exact features. But again, at the end of the day, the iPhone 10 does have more capability with that camera setup. They do have the capability of shooting those photos with telephoto lenses. So you can zoom in way more into a photo which is extremely, extremely cool. So whether you use it or not, you do have that capability on the iPhone 10, where you don't necessarily have it on the iPhone SE 2. Now for this whole entire comparison, the iPhone 10 photos and videos will be on the left, and the iPhone SE 2 photos and videos will be on the right. So I have in the bottom right corners, you know, which one is which. And the way I took these photos is pretty much I let I took the photos one after the other literally like in the same breath almost so they're like not even like two seconds difference in each other so no change in light no change in anything I did let these cameras auto focus so I didn't tap to focus on anything I felt like in order for me to make it exact I had to do it that way so that really pretty much covers the preliminary stuff now looking at this first photo you can see that yeah the iPhone 10 on the left the iPhone SE 2 on the right and I immediately see some light bleeding coming over on top of this pillow. So if I zoom in, you can kind of see that maybe the iPhone 10 took a little bit more light than on something like an iPhone SE 2. As you can see on this part, it's kind of easier to see on the iPhone SE 2. But it's weird though, because if you look right here, this kind of looks like this part looks a little bit better than this part. But the top part looks a little bit more blown out. Whereas on the iPhone SE 2, it did a better job at kind of evening out those colors, which is really cool. On the background, I don't really see too many differences. As you can see, maybe the iPhone SE 2 did a better job at blurring out the background. And maybe, you know, the coloring of it is a little bit more accurate. It looks a little bit more brighter. And one thing that I've seen with the iPhone SE 2 photos is that it does have a tendency of brightening up the photo overall. So that's one thing to consider, you know. But it's weird, though, it didn't, you know, blow out when it comes down to the color up top. But yeah, for this first photo, you know, not really too many differences here. Now for this next photo, it's one outside and you can kind of already see a couple differences, nothing too crazy, but it seems like this color is a little bit kind of warmer in my opinion, whereas on the iPhone SE 2, it was a little bit kind of, you know, or the iPhone SE 2 was this one. The iPhone 10 was a little bit, you know, I think a little bit better looking. I actually don't know. So if I zoom in, you can kind of see that this one looks a little bit kind of, it looks like there's almost like a, like a filter or something going on over the specific photo. Whereas on the iPhone SE 2, it looks a little bit better. But if I go ahead and zoom into the very bottom part, as you can see, you know, this is where I kind of start to see a little bit of a couple of differences. So if I zoom into like this bottom portion, you can start to see how the iPhone SE 2 keeps a little bit more of that information and more of the, you know, less blurriness going on on the sides of this specific photo. Whereas on the iPhone 10, you can kind of see like if you look right here, look how blurry it is compared to the iPhone SE 2 and look how much sharper it is over here. So that is a huge thing to consider. That's one thing you're going to be seeing when you're going from one phone to the other. If you're going from the iPhone 10 to the SE 2 with the advancements in that A13 chip, you're going to be seeing a lot more, you know, better, sharper images, especially when it comes down to the sides. So even though from the foreground and from a bird's eye view, you're not going to see those many differences, there definitely are some subtle differences here and there. So in terms of this outdoor photo, coloring and everything seems to be about the same, but there's definitely some really big differences. Now this is another photo inside and this is pretty bad lighting. I mean, this is, you know, pretty, pretty bad. And from the bird's eye view, you can see that it doesn't really not too many differences. But when you kind of zoom into this area, look at how much noise is going on in the background of the iPhone X photo and look how much smoother it looks on the iPhone SE 2. And again, these are some of the bigger differences you're going to see. You're going to see some huge improvements when it comes to, to decreasing the noise in these specific photos. And you can see that even on the edge of something like this, you can see that, you know, probably the iPhone SE 2 is going to be looking a little bit sharper. And I mean, kind of, I mean, this one's kind of tough. Maybe this one actually looks a little bit sharper now that I think about it. But either or, decreasing the noise in the background, especially from an angle like this, it I think it overall looks better on the iPhone SE 2 than on the iPhone 10. 
Now this is a photo of some flowers, and I don't really see too many differences straight from the get, like from the you know, bird's eye view again. But once you start zooming in, that's actually when you start seeing some of the major differences. So right here, there was a pretty big thing. I don't know what it is, but this seems to be super out of focus, and it's on focus on the iPhone SE 2. So not really too sure what's going on there. Again, I let these auto focus by themselves. If I kind of go into the edge of like a focused part, so this plant seems to be in focus, and it's a fake plant, and Again, it's kind of harder to tell, but you can kind of see that the edge detection, again, look how fuzzy it looks on the iPhone 10. It looks pretty noisy, pretty fuzzy, whereas on the iPhone SE 2, it looks much sharper right here. So again, you're not going to notice these differences, you know, from, you know, a really, you know, large point of view. But once you start zooming in and looking into these things, that's when you're going to start noticing these bigger differences. Now, this is a photo outside, so let me turn this over. And again, this is the one where you're probably not going to see too many differences straight from the get. But once you start zooming in, this is where the differences start coming on. And again, there's really not too many differences. Maybe the major one I can see is that the background maybe is a little bit more blurry on the iPhone SE 2. If you look at this specific plant, and my Mac fan just came on, so it might be a little loud. But you can see that on the iPhone SE 2, it definitely looks more, you know, I would say out of focus, which is what you want, than on the iPhone 10. And if you kind of zoom into the plant, this is what you want. You want this aspect in focus. And it seems to be the SE2 did a better job at that, even in this outdoor photo, which is really cool. Now, this is a photo of some cement. And yeah, you're not really going to notice too many differences. Maybe one thing that I've seen, especially with the iPhone 8 photos, was that there seems to be a lot more sharpening, a lot more darkness going on with the iPhone 10 series and iPhone 8 series photos than on the iPhone SE2. So some people might actually prefer this type of photo. I'm not really too sure, but maybe others will prefer this type of photo. So in my opinion, I don't know. I think I like the iPhone 10's photo here. I like the sharpness. I like being able to see, you know, some like blackness going on from the shadows. The iPhone SE 2 though did a good job at decreasing the amount of shadows, which is something, you know, you might like. Maybe you don't, but me personally, I think I do like this overall. Now, this is a photo of some plants and some pots and stuff, and there's a lot going on in this photo to just, you know, take on in one second. But if you kind of go ahead and, like, zoom into some area like this, you get to kind of see some coloring differences. So, again, the iPhone SE 2 did a really good job at, I think, you know, making the colors pop out a little bit more. Whereas on the iPhone 10, it was a little bit darker, which some people might like, some people might not. Again, it just really just depends. If you go and look at the leaves and everything... Again, they're they're all almost the same type of thing. Actually, the iPhone SE 2 looks a little bit kind of washed out here. Maybe it's just me. But on the colors and on the everything else, they look almost exactly the same. So definitely between these two, I think the iPhone SE 2 would probably win. But I do like how the iPhone 10 looks too. Now, this is an example of portrait mode on both of these phones. Now, the iPhone SE 2 does not support portrait mode for animals. And I don't know if the iPhone 10 did either. But if you go ahead and kind of zoom into the specific dog aspect, if you actually look at it, you could kind of be able to tell that I think the iPhone SE 2 did a better job at evening out the colors. As you can see on my iPhone, uh, my other iPhones too, I don't remember the iPhone XS, it kind of bled out a lot in the colors. So you can see the top of the iPhone or the top of the iPhone 10 photo where the dog is. It kind of looks a little bit, you know, I won't say blurry or anything like that, but it definitely looks a little bit kind of, you know, bright here, which some people, you know, might not like. I definitely don't like that either. Whereas on the iPhone SE 2, you can see how it definitely looks a lot more evened out in the colors. So if you look at the top of his head, it's definitely not blown out. If you look at everywhere else, it's not blown out either. So it's a lot more even coloring going on the iPhone SE 2. And again, this is the portrait mode settings, but it's weird. The iPhone 10 looks so much you know, closer where the SE 2 looks so much further. So I don't really know what happened there. Now, this last photo is a photo indoors and some really bad lighting again. And it's interesting to see how the iPhone SE 2 was able to keep these specific, you know, like trees and stuff in the background from the windowsill where the iPhone 10 really kind of blew those out. And again, I think the iPhone SE 2 does a really good job at evening out the colors and keeping those specific, you know, aspects that you want in photos in the background through the windowsill. And just in like really bad locations, you saw it again with the portrait mode photo before. The iPhone 10, you know, I don't know, I think it's a bad camera, but, and it's definitely still really good. But in lighting situations and, uh, you know, where you have dark and bright lights, I think the iPhone SE 2 will probably do you better in that specific situation than on the iPhone 10. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys the videos that I took on these. And this was really surprising. Now, there's a bee in this, so if you're triggered by bees, don't watch it. But this was actually really surprising to me because for some reason, I feel like the iPhone 10 video looks better than the iPhone SE 2 video. So the iPhone 10 video is on the left. And if you can kind of see, I mean, I don't know about the shakiness and like the, you know, all that other stuff, but when it comes down to the actual, like looking at the video and quality, 
I don't know. I maybe I think the iPhone SE 2 did something weird, like over filtering, and it doesn't even look that nice. And it looks kind of out of focus, to be honest. Whereas on the iPhone 10, it looks more in focus, which is really surprising. So it was shot at 1080p, 30 frames. So I don't really know what's going on there. It was really, really surprising to me. So I'm not going to sit here and say like the iPhone SE 2 is the best camera in the world. But I'm not going to say the iPhone 10 is the you know bad camera at all either. They're both very, very good camera phones. I would say, and this is how I would sum up this comparison, I would say that if you're somebody who currently owns the iPhone 10, going to an iPhone SE 2, you're probably not going to see too many awesome differences. I think they're, you know, almost the same camera when it comes down to it. There's just some really cool differences that the SE2 is able to have. I think it does better at different lighting conditions. And that's a really cool thing for the SE2. But the iPhone X camera, I mean, if you kind of mess around with it a little bit and if you kind of, you know, if you're taking pictures of your family or whatever, I don't think you're going to notice too many crazy differences in my opinion. But we, in this video, we were able to kind of see it because, you know, this is the whole point to see the differences. But if you're not and if you're swiping through the photos, I really don't think you're going to see too many differences in my opinion. So I think that pretty much covers it up, guys. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.